sure I'm going to be home late. Hi, hi, hi. So live yeah, in what? going live on Instagram. So we have like three things going on right now. So we're, again, we're trying our best to record this um, with my laptop, losing my camera, and going live as well. So hi, everyone. So Hello. Um, again, Mama, this is comic. Chicks from Comic Here. Asylum, Palm Desert. So we're just gonna do a like a weekly rundown. Tomorrow's new release Wednesday. So a couple of hot titles, and I got a note, so I don't get sidetracked. And we're on the roll here. First, we're gonna talk about last week. So I was able to read Border Town okay. from Vertigo, mm -hmm. and Bully Wars from Scotty Young. Border Town is by who's the writer? Yeah. I had this question last week. Jesus, it's not Neil Gaiman, right? No. It's or it's uh, been oh, we sold out. We sold out, but anyway, um, people still asking for it. Um, so we both read it. I skimmed through it. She read it. Um, it's kind of set work. So it's a little so it's, uh, the border of um, Arizona, and it's about you know. Oh my goodness! I just went blank. <laughs> I was just telling it's you like, about it. <laughs> What's going on with the um, the, the immigration. immigration kind of thing? Um, but it ties in. It kind of reminds me when I was kind of skimming through it, and I just actually mentioned this to you earlier. Mm -hmm. It was reminding me of um, Men in Black. Oh, yeah. Once when they were on like creatures, monsters type of thing. They're making um, sure the border is okay and want to make sure the bad aliens are not going to be coming in or whatnot. But anyway, it's uh, one of the hottest title last week. Uh, it, the, the, the the cover of uh, Jorge Jorge Jimenez. I think it was like the best seller. Uh, it's a really nice cover. Hi everyone, you guys. Just coming in. Um, again, we're just trying this new thing. This is our second week to do this. We also have a YouTube channel, Comic Asylum, so if you, in, case, in case you missed this, we can't go back, backward from it. So um, so we're talking about Border Last Town, week. last, last week's, week's release that we were able to read it. Um, Bully Wars from Scotty and Oh, it was that. so cute. Yes, I love that one. <laughs> I loved it. I, I really I enjoyed it. There's like a competition between bullies, and now the old bullies getting into a new school. He's getting bullied, you know? Yes. The bullies getting bullied. Um, I mean, I said cute, it's not cute being bullied, but I just thought that, you know, now, like, I guess the nerd helping the bully, you know, um, to come with a plan to be, get him the bully wars, I guess. Um, but it was, it was cool. It, it was fun to read. Did you read Neil Gaiman's Dreaming? It's yes, one of I his did. installations. I did. I read nice. that. And I love Neil Gaiman. He uses big words. I don't know. Last week I was like, oh my god, I read it. It was a wonderful story, but he uses big words. And I had to Google it up. Again, it's not like English is our okay, first word. English language. It's our second language. It's our sec <laughs> second one. So comic books is helping us understand and putting words to actions and whatnot. So um, when I was reading it, it was like, so many big words for the first couple of pages and then now it's finally getting to the characters to the setting it was it's a must to pick up if you guys um haven't picked it up it's streaming from the game last week's you know uh well i have never read anything from sam and universe so all these characters for me are kind of new some of them i mean i have heard and seen you know uh but most of them they were they're new to me so i just feel like i need to go back and learn everything of each character because I am a little lost. It actually um, reminds me of um, if you guys read Saga yeah, by Brian K. Vaughan, that Neil Gaiman dreaming, it's and again it's a heroine, it's a female leading character that was in there. I, seriously, I don't know where I'm looking at. Like there's three cameras here. So I think I'm gonna look at the live. Yeah, like I'm looking, looking in the middle. middle. Are you looking at the middle? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, it reminds me of Saga now that it's gonna be in here yeah, yeah, um, for a break for a full, for a full year. year, so you can pick up Neil Gaiman streaming, um, and we're gonna talk about the next one that's coming out tomorrow, which is House of Whispers. But before I get sidetracked, let, let me finish what's last week's hot titles. Um, as you guys know, I 
dearly loved Don Cates, and he has three comic books. That was hot title last week. It was Thanos Legacy, Death of Inhumans, Ghost Rider, and he also had Dark Arc from um, Aftershock. If you guys don't know much about um, Don he, Cates... Oh, he's doing Dark Arc? I didn't know. Oh, no, he... I'm sorry. Not Dark Arc. So sorry. Sorry. That's Colin Bunn. I'm so sorry. He's one of my favorite writers. Mm -hmm. I should know this. No, it's Baby, baby Teen baby and... Teen. I know, but Dark Arc is by Cool and Bunn. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, those are the three hot titles from Marvel under... Um, that's Don Cates is writing right now. And Ghost Rider is up to six issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, oh. like the... Oh, okay. okay. I'm and not reading, um, Thanos Legacy just restarted again, so it's a must to pick up. I'm not quite sure. I think I'm sold out on that one, but... Um, yes, we are. We are. So, now we're going to talk about tomorrow's new release. So, wow. I've got a whole stack of comic books to show you guys. Look her. Crazy. I know. It's um, hard for me to read. But I haven't... We baby. haven't read this. I, I kind of want to give you guys some... Um, uh, again, we're gonna read it probably this week and break it down for you guys for next next week, next Tuesday. Um, so this week's, as I mentioned, as Amy and Lucy have mentioned, it's House of Whispers. We have the cover B. Yeah, I love this uh, artist Bill. His last name is kind of hard to pronounce. Um, I'm just gonna say six six. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Again, English is um, second language. Why you guys have such a hard <laughs> last name to Try to. But Bill, I like. I like. He does a lot of the the DC. Um, he did a few of the Harley Quinn, Trinity, some Batman. Um, uh, uh, who? Uh, um, uh, 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 Trinity and what else? Um, he did. Yeah, he did. Uh, and he's Walking Dead variant covers. So basically, the um, a little um, couple of things about House of Whispers I, is about it's by Neil Gaiman once again, and it's a it's Voodoo. the setting is in a houseboat, voodoo, and set in a bayou. So um, again, it's mystery and magic all together. Um, so it's a must for you guys to pick it up tomorrow. Um, there's two covers, cover A, B. Okay, I'm excited for this one. I like all the magic um, stuff. I just want to show you guys this cover. This is um, Im Immortal Men, DC. It's by Tyler Kirkham. Like and he's kind of reminds me of Venomized. So when I saw this, I told, I told him, I'm like, what is this? DC's Venomized. But here is the actual um, cover A uh, by Tyler Kirkham. So I like his art. I'm not sure. I'm not reading Immortal Men, but um, I am really, really digging this art, so it's a really nice cover. Now, I've got, what do you have? Oh, uh, Catwoman, variant cover by Art Jim. Such a beautiful cover. So sexy. Well, <laughs> if you guys have been really good. following his Instagram, he came out with his new, what, new number cover? four? I the new so. cover. And I literally thought that it was picture of a person but apparently it's it's his work i mean he does it digitally and when i saw it it was it looks like a picture a portrait of someone and it was I mean, it's nicely done it's very elegant he captures catwoman so classy and sexy and you know um it's, it's, it's an amazing thing and he's actually going to do also supergirl again so oh, that's he's coming back to supergirl oh a couple months yeah. and it's uh, by also uh, jo Julie Jones, Lady uh, Killer. Lady, Lady Killer. I really like that book, and it's again, it's it's really good. I really, I don't have a really cover like A. It. Apparently, it's in the pool, right? For which one? Number one or number two? Number number this one. This number three. I don't. Know. For you, your mm -hmm. pool? No, for like to show to everyone that I don't have any more. You don't? No. Oh. It's only for the players. Well, Apparently, people are just adding Catwoman in their pool. So, 
Um, if you guys don't know Diamond, we reorder we order our comic books about two months in advance. And as we get closer to um, the release date, people are just adding it on the pool. And if we kind of like have an idea of how much we care at the store, by the time it gets released, it's all gone. So and most of you guys don't get it on the floor. So my priorities. Pool members, I'm so sorry. Um, Mark Brooks. This is cover um, B. This is a uh, variant of Mark Brooks, Detective Comics 988. I, I'm just digging, and I did. I get. I got to meet Mark Brooks, and I didn't know he was uh, American because the way he signs his name, I thought he was Asian. So yeah, that's. <laughs> so we talk about everything. The tech. 53 high, show Spider-Man. Uh, we didn't pick Spider-Man. I do have Spider-Man, but you're going to have to wait and stay tuned because I'm talking about DC right now. But I, okay, fine. I'll show it to you briefly. Um, what is it? Can you get it? I had it. You see, it's going off our group. Right I know. Um, ghost, the Ghost, the ghost Rider. Rider variant. So, um, not Very every good. artist do respond on Instagram and one artist I'm going to give him a shout out is Nick Bradshaw and and he is um, thank you Anna for and here such with a sweetheart um, you know I to get artists out there to bring him bring, bring him in here um, to do signing and go to cons and whatnot I usually do social media to get a hold of them but majority of them will not pay attention to social media it's um, because she's a stalker yeah just yes. <laughs> Just so Nick, Nick Bradshaw started following us, and I Yay. messaged him right away. I said, "Hey, would love to bring you here in the desert. You know, anything you can um, let me know if you want to go to cons or to do signing in my store, or whatnot." But he's such a lovely person. I only got to um, kind of talk to him and chit chat with him on Instagram. But this is his cover, you guys. Um, Amazing Spider-Man, Cosmic Ghost Rider. It's a really cool cover. Okay. Very cool. So I'm really digging all the Cosmic Ghost Rider um, variants for this month. That's the whole thing for this um, month of September, I believe. So pick it up. I only have a couple left. It's first come, first serve. I will be open at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Okay? And, and again, is, they'll be knocking on the door. Do not be shutting <laughs> the door. This is the cover A. And so that's it. I guess it's a, one of the uh, hottest... Um, um, when they started at Marvel, uh -huh. Amazing Spider-Man is one of my best sellers. So as Venom. And Venom. Yeah. Venom. Yeah. Okay. So moving along, John Boy, Mayors. This is such his, a nice um, variant for Flash. Flash 54. So we oh, are done with Matina. Matina is over uh, doing. No, I believe he's still doing a few more covers for DC, isn't he? Yes, but think? not Flash. Oh um, yeah. Flash. So Flash, he's not doing it anymore, uh, Francisco Matina. John Boy Mayer is, is currently doing the variant for this. Um, so pick it up, Flash, it's still one of the hottest, I mean, the good. It's still I'm, going pretty good. Well, actually, I'm really I mean, behind on Flash. I have, have been keeping up, I think I left on the 40s. I know. I started reading it, and I got into different comic books. I'm sorry. It's but, hard to keep up yes, with all this. Hard. They're all so good. Well, not all. <laughs> but they're, they're, you know, they're good, and it's hard to keep up, especially that we're both moms, you know. We have other So stuff. speaking of Francisco Matina, back in D.C., he's still doing Suicide Squad voices. There it is. That's the one. Hey, Jonathan. How are you Hi. doing? How are you we're doing much better this time around, right, than the first yeah. time. I hope so. So we're learning. <laughs> um, this is the Matina Suicide Squad number nice cover. 46 that he's still currently doing. And have you guys seen um, Hero in Crisis, one out of 200 variant of Francisco Matina? It's Harley Quinn. It's hard oh, to get. that was a nice one. Um, and if you guys know that you guys want to, you guys want to get like a high quantity variant let me know so I can order it for you guys um, so this is it it's a must to have uh, Amanda Connor are you reading Supergirl? no Amanda Connor's cover 
he, she was uh, the at Palm Comic Con Palm Springs a couple weeks ago with her husband. She did surprise. Uh, she stopped by. It was pretty nice. And she stayed here until Wednesday, so she was having fun in Palm Springs being a tourist. <laughs> it was cool. Superman. Then I have um, Wonder Woman. Such a beautiful cover. Right? Lately, the covers are also really nice. It's it by um, Jenny Princeton. Um, her covers are so nice. Like I, it's we sell bring out more mostly of the variants because it's just come on, Wonder Woman, beautiful. Sorry. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um. So we're doing Superman under Bendis. I'm not sure. Let me know, you guys. What's your guys' feedback? Um, since Bendis took over DC, I hear, I hear good and bad. But we are. Um, we do have Superman at a Muse variant. That's a really nice cover. Okay. Um, this is not. This is cover B, I believe. And then David Mack. Again, he's. They've been doing like two two variant covers. I know, I'm just digging all the watermelon, what well, watermelon, watercolors. Oh, there. Oh, hi, doggy. Um, it's really nice, and um, yeah, I just think the race, the are really nice. nice. They are, you know. I'm still not reading Superman. I'm sorry. Um, and oh, Superman fans, I have one more surprising DC variant that me and um, the hubby both like. It's Scooby Doo. <laughs> Wait, and they're zombies. So I'm um, really liking this cover. Um, and the flag is right behind them. 9-11. Like yes, it's 9-11, you guys. Um, we Such still do remember. Um, and also, I do remember where I was. I was just going to ask you, where were you? I remember I where I was. So not, not many of you guys know that I used to work for United you know, Airlines. In LAX, so we were going. I was still flying back and forth from LA to Palm Springs at that time, and woke up. The sign is backwards. Oh, it's because the way it's recording. Oh, what do you mean? There. Which what sign? Behind. Well, I think I did that on purpose so you guys pay attention more. See. Deal Before with we, it. Deal with it. Before we, um, if you can't read it backwards, then too bad. <laughs> So, Anyways, you were saying. So 9-11. Um, so woke up and dropped off my husband to move his work. And everybody's like, I thought his boss was like, did you see the news? They're like, the, the Twin Towers are like coming down. I'm like, what? What are you the, Their plane just hit the, the building. I'm like, okay. So I went home and turned on the TV and I was just watching it. And I was just like, these are the things that you watch in the movies. And I don't want to go too much in too depth on that because you know it's kind of like still kind of upsets a lot of people. But at the same time, you know, um, we do remember those times, and uh, I, know. You know. I don't want to, I don't want to make you feel, but <laughs> <laughs> but I was getting ready. I was in eighth grade, middle eighth school. Eighth grade? <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh! Actually, I was working. You were working. Right. That's what I'm like. I don't want to make you feel old, eighth but grade, I school. was in eighth grade. Yeah. I was getting ready, and I I don't watch news. I never liked news. Growing up in a Mexican household, you know, we watch pretty many factor, which is like the worst news that you can watch. They I, I don't know if they do it on purpose to show you like the worst, but anyway, so we were watching the news, and it was all over. I wasn't really paying attention to what was going on, but then when I got to school, my first period, it was English. Was it English? No, I can't. No, not English. Um language arts and um they started talking you know it was on news the teacher was watching it and seeing everything was happening like you know at that age you, i mean you understand what's happening you know and i mean i just started crying seeing all these people like jump it, it's just horrible yeah and then it's just so sad the, when i was watching it like you know people coming like jumping off the actual that was just gonna say that and it's like it's yeah. oh my god it's nerve-wracking, and um, again, we do remember that, and it's 
Um, so just and it's also Sarah's birthday today. Happy birthday, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. <laughs> Abner, next time I need more time to do the planning for birthdays, okay? Not on Tuesday. Come on, boyfriend, either. get it together. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on, um, what are we gonna talk about? So House of Whispers, we talked about Catwoman. We are done. Mm -hmm. um, journey into mystery, the birth of Krakoa. I guess this is interesting. Um, about World War Two and Sar mm -hmm. Sergeant Fury is in here um he's actually the main guy i believe in here so uh i will let you guys know what i think it's such a cool cover um he looks so um vintage like you know um i got go ahead i got domino i seriously love this series i i mean some of you know i don't really much read um uh, marvel but there's been a lot of the issues you know getting more into it and the stories but it's mostly because of the whole x-men you know uh but domino I'm pretty excited it's, are you current with that uh i want to say yes so but who's to they're doing it's they're doing like all the different uh different. yeah uh type of, who is it by what uh um, well the artist is greg land He's one of my favorites also. I've got too many favorites. I always say, that's my favorite movie. That's Dear. my favorite movie. <laughs> that's my favorite song. Favorite artist. It's funny that we I can, got... can you point out like his work? Like some artists I can point out who does it's yeah. their work. Um, yes. I use when, you know, when I see the covers, I always say, oh my God, I love that cover. And then realize that it's like, oh, it's by this person, you know? Um, that's how I started getting into the artist. Um, I would like the cover. That's how I realized I like Greg Land because a lot of the covers for Marvel, I was pointing those out, and then I'd be like, "Oh, Greg Land! Oh, Greg Land!" Um, and thank you guys. <laughs> and I um, who is it? Who said great job, ladies? Anna's helping us. Oh, oh thank Who's you. Saying? I haven't seen you, Michael. Where have you been? Oh. Um, hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. But yeah, so. I realized that I like Greg Land, and then I found out he was here uh, last year for Comic Con Palm Springs. Oh wait, like, was it? No, it was last year. Two years ago. It was last year. When was One, Scotty Young two here? Last, last year. year. Sorry. So it was two years ago. Oh wait, you see, you're getting me confused. Sorry. Last year <laughs> that he was here, but sadly I didn't know I liked his work, so. Uh, I picked this one up because of the story. Uh, I don't know who. Gail Simone is uh, yes, Gail Simone. Uh, That's the reason why it's a hot title because Gail Simone has been writing um, good titles uh, from DC. I haven't really read so much about her. I'm um, still learning, but the, she's one good. Keep um, learning writer. about like the, the the writers that I like and uh, one of them I uh, really like. Uh, well, I love Scott Snyder and. Uh, Oh my god. Uh, I, I like to read more of the creepy side of Gary. Uh, but business card is floating. Yes, that is. Uh, like we just want you to pay attention to whatever we have. <laughs> it's not floating. That's, that's what we, we want you guys to do. So, um, Iceman is back, number one. Um, so we're. Are you I, I think we're also not. Oh. By the way, we have Scotty Young variant covers. It's in. Um, already in the pool well so sold out to the pool people unless somebody doesn't pick up their pool we're gonna pick it out so i swear we'll it's one of the new titles for this tomorrow um i don't know about you guys but i've been keeping up with venom and they are one such a hot title it's a must to have i don't care what printing you guys pick it up um it's it's still such a good um writing by Donna Cades and they've um, created, he's created a new character, which is, his name is, spoiler alert, Null, N-U-L-L, -L, but this is the third printing. You should give it a second so they can like, turn it off. <laughs> Too bad now, you guys. Uh, so this is the like third printing. So every time that they change the printing or they print out, it's going to be a different cover. It's not Marvel. Does Marvel always? Do they always do that? 
On like some that? titles they do. On some on titles. Hot titles. Yes, on some titles. So must to pick up again Venom. I'm not sure when is trade paperback going to come out, but I'm hopefully soon because it's such a good story. Um, again, and one of my favorite cover. This just kind of reminds me of. Um, I'm not sure if it's but it's um, I think McQueen. Um, Rice, Marvel Rising Omega. I believe this is cover. It's a uh, cover B. So I, I, I just love this cover. It's captured like just being them young. They're superheroes, but they're having fun. They're just being teenagers. Uh, there's nothing really serious or nothing life threatening that they're doing right now. They're just hanging out as like kids. Like they should be. Healing. Yeah. yeah. Still no silk it's though. Such a nice. Or Gwen Bull, but Spider Gwen's there. Well, so it's a different team. True. You don't have to be there all the time. I know, but I should just like <laughs> put them in there, you know, like just there. Uh, this is the My cover. C. They they have a show, a cartoon, and cover C. They have a cartoon, a show. Marvel I'm not sure. Something um, like that. I, I hardly watch what? TV nowadays. But anyway, um, any I anything that you want to. I have farm hand. Uh, it's. Going very good. It's Bob. This, uh, when you said it, when you told if you me need to read liver, it, I what? If, if you, you need, need a liver, liver you go to this farm. It. They they grow fingers, arms, instead anything, of tomatoes. Instead of tomatoes, they're gonna body parts. <laughs> so it's you know she had told she you have said that before. It's kind of like that. Sounds like the zombie versus. versus yeah, plants versus zombies kind of thing, um, but the story completely different. Um, it's really good. It's very interesting. Kind of like a little dark, not so scary, but it's really good. Um, pretty excited. I really like this cover. Um, it doesn't. But need, it, you guys need to. It's not like they don't need to be thinking about this comic. It's more like it's for fun. It's a good read. Yeah. It's a good feel read. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, you know. Um, so yeah. what's Another next? Another one. Um, I love this cover. I Is love, it because it's like it, bombshell era? Yes, yeah, because of the bombshell. I love bombshells. So it's you know Archie, nineteen forty one. This I love this cover. Um, they came out with five different covers. You were telling me. Yes, five covers. Five covers. But we are missing one cover to, but I have all four of them. I believe I'm missing the variant for from the villa. Mm -hmm. Tech. I see an Emily. Emmy coming. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, I love this cover. Archie, I don't, I watch uh, their show. Uh, oh my God. The River, 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 River Zell. I just, I watch season one. I'm going to season two behind, like everything else. I'm behind on everything. <laughs> um, I love watching shows. Uh, I, I watch too many shows. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I watched them. So we are actually going to have an actual vlog this Friday at 7 p.m. This coming Friday. A vlog? Uh, it was a video blog kind of Okay. Thing. okay. I, I don't, I'm not sure if we're going to go on live, um, if we're going to take any um, questions. But we have other chicks that's going to be with me besides myself. Uh, Mama Comics is going to be there. Um, Candace and Cheyenne, so those two other chicks are going to be here. Gonna, we're going to talk about how they started collecting comic books, how did they get into comic books. Um, and they're not just, they don't, you, if they walk into the comic store, you would not even know that they're into this at all. So that's what we're going to talk about, and we're going to have some food on Friday. And we're just going to like. What kind of food? Uh, I don't know. Something. Maybe, you know, food. if I want to show up, you know, it just depends on the food. <laughs> Bring your own food. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I was at home. <laughs> um, not sure what kind of food. I mean, I'll 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 ask a couple of you guys what you guys might have. Thai food. I will food. Thai food. I haven't had that. I have been craving that little place that I, we talked about last week. Oh, that's right. Uh, what is it called? This Le Bezel. Le Bezel in Le Palm Desert. I know you would think it's French, but it's not. Uh, it's French. So they're just food. And right behind, 
I keep plugging them in. They should bring us food. Seriously. You should tell them <laughs> that we keep advertising. Uh, it's, but right, it's right there on 111. By Arby's. By Smart and Final. Right across from the mall. Yes. Like next to the Smart and Final. Except we'll pull up like the Google Maps where it's shorts. Yeah. It's really close by from the Comic Asylum. Um, really good food. Authentic. Yes. Um, the cooks are Thai themselves, so um, they're, so they really know what they're doing. Um, Thai Smile. I've had better. Sorry, guys. Um, well, you know, from Thai Smile, I like their shrimp in the blanket. Oh, the, oh my god, I can't eat like 20 But if of you guys those. are craving for any curries or any typical um, authentic Thai food, Damn it, I'm getting hungry. then that's definitely that you want to you wanna go buy. It's like, so until mm -hmm. them chicks sent you, and hopefully they'll send me food for free. <laughs> uh, that was actually Ruben. Did he, did you guys go? That was, well, he picked it up and we had, um, he had a masamon curry and I had like four dishes and he's like, I had pad thai. You had four five, dishes? Yes. Holy shit, Smith, what the hell? We had an angel wings, we had uh, chicken fried rice and we had chicken pad thai and then he had a masamon and then I had another um, dish, I forgot what it is, so. And this girl can eat. Where does that go? <laughs> so to my husband. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Wait. I don't want to know. Um. So basically, don't forget. Um. I'm. I'm gonna get get you guys. Um. I'll let you guys know about the video that I'm gonna download or upload for Friday. Upload. Not sure yet if I'm gonna put it on live because what's the point of being live? I just want you we're, we're trying all these like being live we kind of like it because i mean we can kind of connect with you guys at the time but then on youtube don't you guys see us majority of the time already they love us so but on youtube you can still put it put up your comments and we will probably get and it we'll for respond. the next next video next we're trying year. things out to see what comes better which one it looks better sounds better so we literally have like three things going on right now. We have a camera, which is camera. I have my laptop and then I have the actual phone, which is we're doing in different And lives. Anna's helping us to and kind Anna. of click everything. She's giving us the questions. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Anybody yeah. else has questions for us before we go? How many people are watching? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you guys suck. I just oh, <laughs> I, I'm sure we had like, okay, plenty. Okay. Um, <laughs> But I want to plug in, again, we started our YouTube channel, Comic Sound Palm Desert. Subscribe. Um, and this coming Friday is our Other Chicks and Comics. Again, we're going to talk about comics and how we got started. And food. And possibly wine. Get to know each other. Live whoever doesn't know. I'm sure you guys know chicks very well by now. <laughs> Some of you, I don't see you. Uh, I'm not really here during the week uh, unless she's not here. Which is Saturday and, and Sunday. But I'm here Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Tuesday, Saturday and Sunday. Unless you need, you know, she needs help, then I'll come in. Um, but for now, just three days a week. Um, and let us know if we're doing good, much better. I mean, from my, I think we are much more comfortable this time around than last. Last week, week I kind of like threw that surprise and no makeup I, on. I actually <laughs> like my yeah. hair. Is all crazy. So today you're all done up. Oh, kind of, <laughs> kind of. I try. So I, Isabel, maybe one of these days Isabel will just pop in because I can do makeup. I don't do makeup. Yeah, she's is... okay, but she'll be our makeup artist. Yes. <laughs> so if you guys have any comments or questions, or whatnot, um, you know, leave us those messages. Um, Instagram, what else? Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube. Twitter. Honestly, you get Twitter? I do. I, I finally, I finally opened up a Twitter. Um, I'm not sure what's what's it for though. It's like only just one sentence and whatnot. <laughs> so um, we're here, chicks from Comic Asylum. I'm a comic. Comic so, Asylum. Tomorrow's gonna be New release Wednesday. Don't forget, we are open till 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I do have an intern tomorrow, and Ooh. her name's Candace, which she's going to be with me on Friday. Oh, well, so Candace! Check it out, and I'm not sure what she's going to be picking for lunch tomorrow. Ooh. She hasn't decided yet, so. You should yeah. post. I want to I see. Even 
Because I'm not here on Wednesday, so I don't know what you guys are eating. I want to know, so I can be jealous. I usually put it on the Instagram. Like, Oh, that's true. You do, you do. But I want to see pictures of the food. You want to see the pictures of the yeah. food? Yeah. Man, you know what? I'm gonna do that because you know I should add more like what what we're actually eating. So yeah. So like the dish of the day. So we got our rundowns for last week's. Um, so we we read some comic books and we're gonna read some couple of these comic books so we can give you guys feedback. Good for thing I have a, a list. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, she better read all those. That's huge pile of comics. Are you going to read all those, no, girl? not really. I'm well, just going to pick and choose what I want to read. That's the thing. Um, I There's so many titles, and I would I, I don't want to lie to you guys that I, I do read all of them. I know I don't. I only pick and choose what I, what's a hot title. I'll give a chance for number ones, and if it doesn't, my rule of thumb is five pages doesn't pick me up, then it's gone. I'm not going to um, invest my time in because there's so many other titles there that Needs my attention. So yeah, it, I mean we kind of need to know so that people come in. And, hey, what is this about? Kind of sucks, you know, not knowing what it's about. Thank God for Google. Let me Google real quick. Yeah, and, you know, again, we're we're just two kind of ladies out here in Comic Asylum, Palm Desert, um, and we are. We don't know much about the Silver Age, but we do know a little bit of the modern. The modern. <laughs> and a lot, I mean, for me, a lot of the covers, um, when they call to me, they call to me and I have to read them. But like she said, if I don't like the first title, like if it's not my thing, then I'm just gonna move on to the next one. Or a lot like that I, I do read and I kind of forget <laughs> that I was reading and then until somebody asked me about it, I'm like, oh my god, I was reading, I forgot. So, oh, for the pool members, please make sure, um, Pick up your pool. <laughs> pick up your pool. If you guys want to cancel, um, if you can make it to the pool, pick up your pool. Don't cancel. Let me know. <coughs> Sorry. It's dying already. Oh, it's just like something in my throat. Allergies. Can you start again? Doctor? Just start the... What the heck is that? Oh, Michael. Jesus. Oh, my God. No, we're just, not sorry. You Download can... the YouTube app. It's going to be there yes. tonight. It's going to take about 30 minutes. Yeah, we're doing right now the 30 minutes. Or actually, you know what, once it's done, you can just play it again on um, Instagram Live. Ta people. Um, Hello. So, Hello. pool members, uh, the next movie that we are premiering with Mayor Pickford is Venom. It's going to be October 4th, Thursday. Not sure where we're going to do the happy hour just about yet. I haven't confirmed that with um, Bonta in Cat City. But it's going to be a, a Mayor Pickford, October 4th. I will need you guys' um, payments for the tickets, so uh, come and Comes see me. Comes with the drink and the popcorn. And private screening, so it's um, our own theater. And the drink and the popcorn, you don't have to go out and get it. It's ready for us at the, the little table inside the, the, the room yeah. theater thing. Yeah. And it's, um, not many people will know about this, but it's unlimited until until they turn, on the, turn off the lights, then they can't. You know, obviously, deliver any more offerings or so. Because they don't want to inter interrupt, in interrupt the the movie. But can we go outside and ask, "Hey, do you want to have yeah, some of more?" Course. Yeah, you can okay. definitely ask. And if you guys want, like, which we you don't, we usually have way too much, way too much. Yes, and you can much. grab it on on the way out. It's not a big deal. Um, again, we've been doing this with Mayor Pickford. Uh, shout out with Mayor Pickford uh, in in Cat City local movie theater. Support the local. Um, Ted is um, the part owner of um, Mayor Pickford himself, so he's been helping us make this, and it makes sense. Local comic book store, watching all the comic book movies, um, and it's a private event for our pool members. So. Yeah, it's nice that he's offering that, yes. that to us. And you know what? When we get this better, I might have to actually get him out of here and talk mm -hmm. to you guys. And also maybe Chris Spellman, uh, Comic Con Pause Race. I told him he, he has so to. So we do can it. yell at him because we like to yell <clears throat> at him. For some reason. Yeah. So and you guys can some tell reason. him <laughs> whose artist that you guys want to bring in next year. And um, yeah, I mean it's a learning it's a learning process, you guys. So bear with us. We're trying to make sure that we have um, Comic Con Pause Race um, 
for next year as well. So, and the next, and the next, yes. so, so we can get all our art, all the uh, the artists that we like. I mean, it will be nice to get to see them here. Then we don't have to go to San Diego or other places. No, that the ones that should be extremely here. long. No, I mean, they should yeah. just come here. We have enough. Yeah. So for everybody. All right, you guys. I think we are done for tonight. Going. We have kids to go home to. Um, I'm hungry. We are hungry. I don't know. I think I was even thinking we should do a happy hour, but then I'm like, mm -hmm. so we're gonna have to do we it. We keep saying we're gonna do happy hour. Not when we're doing this on Tuesday night. So, you guys, thank you so much. Uh, you will see me tomorrow, 10 a.m. sharp. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Take Bye. care. Shh.